What's up, good people of YouTube? It's me, Chavez, back with another faceless video for you. Today is Monday, September 11th, 2023. As always, I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits. We'll recap our plays from Saturday, dive into a few plays that I like for uh, today's MLB slate. Two on prize picks, one on underdog. Quick breakdown for each one, and then we'll put a bow on this video. So if all that sounds good, stick around, drop a like, sub up, and click the notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and the channel. And without further delay, let's get into our plays from Saturday. All right, Saturday's plays did us right. Took the under Savale, 31.5, pitcher fantasy score. He did exactly what we said he was gonna do. Gave up runs, took himself out of contention for the quality start and win bonus, um, and that was pretty much it. Seattle put put a hurting on him. He did help himself by walking the bases loaded, basically, walking in the first run. I mean, he just looked really messy. His control was all over the place, so um, it just you know was a was a good line to attack and it worked out for us and then we took the over lane thomas freddie freeman hits runs on rbis combo prop and that worked out for us lane thomas hits a home run has a monster game freddie freeman chips in and they go well over four hits runs on rbis so two plays on saturday go two and oh Nice little run we're on here, all right? Nice little momentum we're building here. Looking to keep it going with these three plays. So without further delay, let's go ahead and transition and start breaking down the plays that I like for today. All right, first play that I wanna talk about. Now I'm gonna mention two plays for Sonny Gray because it's possible this one gets bumped back up to six. If Sonny Gray's strikeouts get bumped back up to six, then I, I, I will be taking the under on this one, but it has recently recently been moved down to five and a half, and I don't like it as much. So I'm still gonna break this one down as if we we're going with the strikeouts, but what you could do is transition over to taking the under on his 31.5 pitcher fantasy score. And here's why I like taking the under on him today. So he's gone over six strikeouts just two times in his last 10 home games, he has one push, seven unders. Tampa Bay has been crushing lately. 6.67 runs scored over the last three games, and they're hitting really well on the road. 5.43 runs scored per game on the road this season. This just doesn't seem like a, a good spot to take the over for Sonny Gray. It's possible that you know he has a solid game, but in terms of going over fantasy score, he needs to go over strikeout prop, and he needs to stay in the game longer than six innings, and he needs to limit run production. I just can't see all three of those things happening today. It just makes me like the under on the strikeout prop. Should it get back up to six? But if it doesn't, then I'm totally cool with taking the under on Sunny Gray 31.5 pitcher fantasy score. All right, second play over on prize picks, Fernando Tatis Jr. over his 8.0 fantasy score. We're targeting a really good hitter who's kind of in a cold streak right now. A little bit of a slump here, but positive regression is in play. So that that's, you know, the first thing I like about this this line. Tatis Jr. versus right-handed pitching on the year. He had the 250 batting average, 17 homers and 54 RBIs. The best part about this matchup is is the pitcher. So I mean, facing a right-handed pitcher in Gavin Stone, who's allowing a four point, who's allowing 4.2 earned runs over his last five starts. In addition to that, he's allowing a 444 batting average to right-handed bats. So Tatis needs uh, needs this matchup in the worst way. He gets a right-handed pitcher who is allowing high contact, high average to righties. And Tatis is, is in a good spot. Too good of a spot for me to not take the over on his fantasy score. So we're rolling with it. Second play of the day, we're taking the over. Fernando Tatis, 8.0 hitter fantasy score. All right, last play on the board. This is an underdog play. Now, I, I did have this on, on prize picks and they removed it. It's still available on underdog. Hopefully, it's still available by the time this video is uploaded. But... Labor Torres over 1.5 hits runs and RBIs. Really strong numbers away uh, compared to the numbers at home. All right. So he's averaging 2.5 hits runs and RBIs in the last 10 away games. He has four home runs in those 10 games. When he's facing right handed pitching, 275 batting average, 17 homers, and 48 RBIs. And Torres versus Crawford this season hasn't resulted in, you know, the best of numbers, pretty mild numbers. Just one hit in eight plate appearances, but 
Torres should get four, five at bats today in Fenway Park versus a right-handed pitcher. It's just too good of a spot to pass up for Glaber Torres. So give me the over 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. And that's going to be our third and final play of the day. And that play again, you can find that over on Underdog. All right, ladies and gentlemen, over on Prize Picks, we like the over on Fernando Tatis uh, hits run, or fantasy score. If the sunny gray line gets bumped back up to six, I say take the under. But until then, I'm, I, I'm more on board with taking the under on his pitcher fantasy score, sitting at 31.5. And then over on underdog, Glaber Torres over his 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. A couple other plays that I also like here on underdog. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's video. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you like on the board as well as your thoughts on these plays. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, helping this channel get bigger every single day. Best of luck to you all should you tell any of these plays. Until tomorrow's MLB player prop video, Chavez is out.